and Tim. Welcome to our channel and thanks for logging on. Today we're discussing the IWC Pilots Chronograph Reference 3717-04. You can see this IWC Day Date Chronograph Pilots Watch and purchase it on our website. Subscribe to our YouTube channel if you enjoy these videos and please click on the card in the upper right hand corner of the screen at any time during this video to see our full sales listing for this watch with additional accessories included in the sale, high resolution images for your desktop, and naturally complete pricing details for this IWC 37 17 pilot's chronograph. Now I'm making amends here because I had this watch mistakenly taped and listed as a 3777 of the current generation. In fact, this is of the generation of the watch that ran from 06 to about 2011. In many respects, it does look like the current model, but distinctions in case size, dial detail, and bracelet should have tipped me off. So here goes. The watch is 42 millimeters across the round of the case, not inclusive of chronograph pushers or crown. The watch is actually a little bit slimmer than you might expect. At 14.5 millimeters thick with a generously sloped and stepped case flank and bezel, it does slide underneath most dress cuffs and tighter sleeves, especially sport jackets and blazers, perhaps the tightest of cuffs getting hung up, but this is an aggressive and large sports watch, so that's understandable. From lug to lug, it's a very wearable 52 millimeters, and although my wrist is 16 centimeters in circumference, I don't feel like I'm experiencing the lower limit of wrist size for this timepiece. You can see how short and generously downward sloped the lugs are. This is a watch that, in my estimation, can be worn on a wrist from perhaps 14 and a half centimeters to 15 lower limit. Again, wrist shape rather than size is going to be a large determinant. Oval is better. Now you'll note the watch has a beautiful five link satin and polish finished steel bracelet. Absolutely gorgeous. Its small links recall the comfort of Rolex's Jubilee bracelet. Its solidity and toughness recalls Rolex's Oyster. In a lot of ways, it channels the best of both while being entirely its own thing. Note the large channels and visible gaps between the links. This wonderfully allows sweat, moisture, grit, oils, and heat to escape the wrist on a hot day, and at the same time it avoids pinching skin and pulling hair. Now you'll note at the links second from the bottom, each individual link has a quick release device such that each link is removable for precise sizing or the ultimate in close cleaning and teardown. An excellent design functionally, it's paired with a beautifully made single fold deployant that does feature trigger release, and I'll show you that to good effect. There's my trigger right there. So it cannot pop open, it's not friction fit, and it doesn't take the cop out option of a clamshell. This is the way you would like to see a substantial sports watch bracelet linked together. A low profile, very robust, beautifully made, very secure clasp. It's in keeping with the aesthetic of the watch, which is instrument inspired but luxury in its execution. Of course, the entire case is satin finished, which is a very handsome choice as it allows the watch to wear its bulk with elegance, refinement, and understatement. Again, German being the native language of IWC, the watch does have a little bit of a Teutonic sensibility about it. No nonsense, instrument style inspired by IWC's actual history of building instrument style pilot's watches. You can see that it has beautiful white on black calibrations and the dial base itself being a muted matte black, it's not inclined to glare or shine or reflect light as a gloss finish might be. Each of the sub-registers is countersunk to differentiate them within the dial and add visual interest and you can see the shock of red to set the constant seconds dial apart from the chronograph registers. Now, it's beautifully loomed at night, so it does explode in the darkness, easy to read in sports watch style. The watch is prepared for everything save perhaps the zombie apocalypse. With a screw down crown, it has 60 ATM water resistance, which IWC does rate as sufficient for swimming. It also has blowout protection of the case back, crown pusher seals, and crystal, such that if you're in an aircraft cabin that explosively decompresses, the seals and through fittings of the watch are not going to blow out. And finally, you note the solid case back, there's a soft iron inner case that shields the movement and IWC 79320 automatic from magnetic fields, which can be found almost universally in the closures of purses, wallets, refrigerator doors, as well as high powered wiring arrangements in the home and office. Now the movement automatic winding with a 44 hour power reserve does wind unidirectionally, very efficient, 
The chronograph is crisp and a pleasure to use, and it features hacking seconds such that when you screw out the crown and you pull the crown to extremity, note the small seconds hand, it halts the balance and allows you to synchronize to a reference timer. There's also a double quick set function so you can rapidly cycle both the day and the date indication. You can see this handsome, versatile, quite subdued take on the modern oversized sports watch. A watch that could be worn with just about anything except perhaps the tightest of French cuffs. This is an all-arounder in the truest sense. You can see and you can buy this IWC 3717 Pilots watch on our website.